let's carry on a little bit further on this. You brought up very important points, and among which that uh, they were done in a very exclusive fashion. If I am not mistaken, I think the median size in the two taste studies that were positive was like about three or four centimeter, no more than that. A little that. more, like five uh, centimeters, but Fair still. enough. But nowadays, we taste, uh, is there a limit for how big of a tumor is to taste it? Well, this is, goes back to our discussion about staging, right? I mean, you can say that a tumor is intermediate stage, but is the data necessarily linking an intervention with improving an outcome, right? Yeah. Uh, so the taste studies that were originally done were in the late 90s, early 2000s, that showed that taste versus placebo, so no treatment in this group of patients, improved survival. So from that, and again, there was no drug approved until 2007 for advanced liver cancer, or unresectable, we should even say, and unresectable includes both B and C. Uh, but, you know, taste has, has filled a void for those patients. And the question isn't, can I do a taste? The question is, Will doing a taste be effective? And that's a very important question that you need to ask your interventionalists and at your tumor boards. What's the uh, perception of patients in uh, Germany in regard to taste? Is this something sought after, they look for? Or? So I think, I mean, taste is clearly in, also in Germany the most frequently used first line treatment in, in HCC. But I think it's really important to since we have now more systemic treatments um, available, that we really look at the evidence we have for taste. And we always say that we have level one evidence for taste. Yeah? But I think we shouldn't forget that there are a couple of trials, many of them are negative, and we basically only have two positive trials. 14 negative. Right, e even more, <laughs> even more, right. Yeah. So um, we have two positive trials, and the one positive trial and you, you mentioned it, I mean, it was a highly selected patient group. I mean, they selected, they screened 950 patients, and in the final analysis, there were less than 100 patients, 45 and 50. And then I think it's also important to look at the numbers. I mean, overall survival in this selected group of patients was 28 months. Yeah? And we, I think cross-trial comparison are always difficult, but we need to remember these numbers. Even in this highly selected patient population, we have 28 months which is obviously the best we can get. In this trial, in the control group, without any effective treatment, median overall survival was 18 months, which kind of indicates that we have a selection of patients with a good prognosis. Yeah? Still, it's a significant survival benefit. Now there have been a lot of trials, and I mean, there have been meta-analyses on, on studies that have been performed sometimes with more than 10,000 patients. And from these um, trials, we know that the median overall survival for taste is around 19 months. This is real life what you can expect from taste, 19 months. Yeah? And you can, see the, you can say the glass is half full or half empty. Yeah? First of all, you need to reach 19 months with any other treatment you have available. Yeah? But on the other hand, I think we should not like, over, be overexcited about taste. It's still a limited time frame we can achieve with taste. Yeah? And now having more systemic therapies available, I think it's really critically important that we still use taste that, but that we do, do not overuse it and that we still, and that we have a really clear focus on liver function so that that would be most important that we treat patients, but we shouldn't deteriorate liver function with the treatment. I, I, I definitely agree totally on that. And if anything, yes, we, we do treat with taste until there's no tomorrow. However, with one exception, we understand in Japan that you have certain decisions made that you agreed among all the experts in Japan in regard to how many tastes and when would you stop taste based on what's the frequency of the taste. Teach us a little bit about what are your guidelines. Yes, yeah, uh, Japanese uh, JSH, Japan Society of Hepatology guideline, the, the defines the taste failure or refractoriness. That, that, uh, the, that definition is uh, mm, we perform repeated tests sometimes more than 10 times because we perform uh, in Japan uh, very, be, because of the surveillance, uh, established surveillance system, fewer and smaller tumors are found. So we perform super selective tests uh, even though there is a multi multifocal. Then that way we can uh, obtain a complete response, nearly complete response without liver damage. So as far as the super selective taste is possible, we repeat taste. But uh, uh, sooner or later, that, that 
that kind of taste procedure will not be effective. That means the maybe one uh, first, second, third, fourth taste, and then fifth taste. It's it, it, the after uh, fifth taste there there is some recurrence or does not respond well. In that case in biloba multifocal disease. In, so in that case, the, we, ha we cannot perform uh, super selectively. Then the right lobe taste and left lobe taste, in, that, in other words, whole liver taste can be perf is performed. That way, response is low and uh, liver damage deteriorated. So <coughs> two consecutive tastes, after two consecutive tastes, new region or original tumor recurs right uh, one month later. That we define taste failure. So at that point, even though uh, technically taste is possible, we recommend to switch to another uh, the next line of treatment, which in, means uh, systemic therapy. That's fascinating. Actually, if anything, we are well aware of the uh, system in Japan that they came up uh, to agree to, which is like how many tastes, how the frequency between the tastes to make sure that they make sure that patients benefit from it. Because as we notice, if we're going to turn from that super selective taste into a broad taste that might actually be rather ineffective and might also hurt the liver per se. Uh, th that's definitely very valuable, but admittedly, we don't have it all over.